you feel the cold in the air? Well, we're starting it off with my 10 cheap recommendations 2019-2020 winter. You want to hear about it? You know what to do. Welcome back NYC Fragrance Family. Yes, top 10 or my 10 cheap recommendations for winter 2019, 2020. Cause yes, we do carry into the new year. Fall's gonna end soon. So I figured let me record my winter videos. So here are 10 fragrances, the cheapies that were the building blocks of my collection. And they're not in any particular order. I'm just giving you 10. First one I'm gonna talk about is Obsession for Men. Now this one's an old school classic. You all know this one. It's been reformulated, but still, the ginger vibe, the scent profile, it's a sexy fragrance. And it's a cheapie now. Nowadays you get it for, you can get it for around $30. Still a very good buy, still a great scent profile, and a very highly recommended cheapie, for my, in my opinion. The next one from a house that I'm very fond of, the house of Dunhill, is Dunhill Custom. This one has that apple note, sweet, somewhat seductive, easy going, easy to wear. Again, another cheapie. This 50 ml goes for about $15. Can't go wrong with that. Dunhill Custom. Next one I'm gonna to talk to you about is from the House of Jovan, and I've talked about this in my Amber series. Jovan Secret Amber. Now this one here, nice everyday easy wearing amber. Again, can be found for around $30, and is perfect for the winter. If you're an amber person like I am, this one's got some real sweetness to it. The vanilla is somewhat prominent, slightly powdery, but light. Perfect for the winter time. Jovan Secret Amber. The next one gets a lot of talk. I edited it recently. I actually have two to talk about from this house and this line. And it is Lalique Ancre Noir. Now, me being the vetiver person that I am, these fragrances, all three of them, because I now own all three of the Ancre Noirs, this one is right down the middle. So this is probably the best of both worlds, the original. Because when you go to another one that I'll talk about, it's got a more dense profile. And then if you get the Sport, it's got a lighter, easier wearing profile. So depending on where you're at, you'll find one of these Ancre Noirs that will satisfy you. This one here, to me, is just right. Especially if you're a veteran fan. So Ancre Noir goes for around $22, I believe. Great, great buy. Next one, if you know me, and you're gonna see a couple of these type of gentlemanly fougere fragrances, but a lot of the classics, and they're coming in cheap. This one is Zeno Davidoff. To me, this one is a pretty unique take on a fougere. I like the spiciness in this. I like the deeper woodiness in this. I like that it's cheap, obviously, I like that it wears well, and it still, to some degree, achieves a modern profile, or stays in a modern profile. I've smelled a lot of niche fougere fragrances and newer takes on fougeres that still have very, very close similarities to what this brings to the table. The next one I like to talk to you about is from a house 
that I have had a few fragrances recently and that this one I actually went out and purchased because I saw it recommended on a YouTube video it was said to be similar to Lalique's Anka de Noir but I find this one to be much richer much spicier and definitely because of what it is it's Louis Cardin Sama Al Emara this is definitely a rich spicy oriental take or middle eastern take on Lalique Anka de Noir but I don't get the same this has some sweetness in it as well so I don't really get sweetness with Anka Noir this one you get some sweetness some people may liken this to like almost like a Tuscan leather-ish vibe but at this price point and the quality that this is this is probably one of the best cheapy buys that I've gotten recently and I remember rocking this and it was going all day excellent excellent scent profile on this one this one I definitely definitely for you people looking for a cheapie and want something very rich very masculine very in you know bold this would be the one Sama Al Emirat from Louis Cardin now another favorite from my channel and I've talked about this in my cheapie list before but I can't help but talk about it again because it is a very good fragrance and I like wearing this one if you recognize the bottle it is Bogart Bodon this one again that gentlemanly everyday you know classic gentleman fragrance the fougere vibe the barbershop vibe just clean something you could wear every day you know the old saying the dumb reach this is it without a doubt Bogart Perron if you haven't tried it at the price point of $20 it's almost worth the blind buy the next one which is a 2019 edition is Halloween Man X this year this year is probably one of the best designers this year now you see the blue bottle you think blue fragrance it has that blue-ish thing going on like a Dylan Blue or a uh, Dior Sauvage but here's the take on this so the twist on this it's got a coffee note and that coffee note is prevalent in the opening and let me tell you for what this comes in at I mean I got it discounted but seems like the prices went back up I don't know if availability has been an issue lately or it just hasn't gotten out to everybody in the discount world but this this should run you in in the $30 $35 range when it is at all the discounters like all the other Halloween fragrances this one here though I'm gonna tell you I love Halloween man shot I think it's a really good good fragrance you know that's similar to that Lana Louis de Lome type vibe or an Azara Wanted, Azara Wanted by Night type thing going on. This one though, I think beats it. I'm sorry, but it just, to me, it just lasted longer. I like the coffee note in it. I think this one is a little more distinct and definitely worth checking out. Halloween Man X. Next one I recently picked up. I know some people have this one already. And, you know, I picked up two fragrances from this house when I picked this one up. And this is Ted Lapidus Pearl. Now, this one is also that masculine, like Jacques Bogart Perron. Every day, you know, that the type of fragrances I like, those old man ones, the fougeres, the classics. This one has a little bit more animalic vibe to it. Then let's say this I think this is much easier to wear this is one of those that if you like animalic and you say hey you know what I want something that's gonna be more like a Kuros something that's a little more has a little more bite to it and again less than 20 bucks I mean this this right here this lineup right here could be somebody's collection it is you have some variety and you have some different takes here and less than 100 bucks you could have all four of these 
but I'm going off track. Anyway, so this one here, if you're looking for, for this type of a fragrance, but with an animalic touch, this is the one to go for. And the last one, I think I mentioned earlier that I was gonna mention another one from this line, and I saved it for last. I don't know if I'm saving it for last because I wanna say it's number one, it's the best, but for me, the quality of this one and the way it works as I tested it, as I've worn it, I was impressed. I was, I was impressed and I picked this up for $21 and change. So I think $22 in tax and it is Lalique Ancre Noir à l'extra. This one here is just tight. You know, it's it's one of the darkest forms of vetiver. Vetiver oud, very rich compared to the OG Ancre Noir. This one is the one that you want to get in somebody's face. You want people to know that you're there. You put this one on. Kind of like how I feel about this one. Except this one is all about vetiver. This one to me seems more of a leather spicy accord it's almost like this with that tuscan leather vibe combined this one here so i'm telling you any anything here like these five i think are the ones that would make a nice little collection if you had all five of these so these were my 10 cheap recommendations for winter 2019 2020 what do you think let me know you got some suggestions for me i'd love to hear it you know this is how i built my collection started to build my collection with the cheapies and i still buy some here and there as you can see these four out of these five i recently got probably within the last three or four months so i still buy the cheapies even though i have dove really deep into niche and I'm kind of like not really getting designers too much and you know I, I don't think I've found any that are really grabbing me I mean this is considered a designer and that's why I picked it up these are designers as well but they're on the cheaper aspect I don't put them in there with like Chanel and Dior Versace you know, I always categorize these as the cheapies, but nonetheless, cheapy or not, they are very good fragrances. So, if you like the list, give the video a thumbs up. People, subscribe to the channel. You know, I'll keep providing content, and I enjoy doing this, and I like sharing things about my collection. But at some point, who knows? You know... There is challenges in life and the hobby is a hobby and the love for the fragrances is one thing, but sometimes things happen. Anyway, I'm digressing. So NYC Fragrance Family, thank you for stopping by again. For those of you not in the family, again, please subscribe. And also thank you for stopping by and always remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.